Hello to all of the Leos out there. Hello to all of the Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. I am going to be doing your reading for the week of March 29th through April 5th. I have already shuffled the cards off camera just to save time. And I am going to begin your reading. What is the current energy for the sign of Leo? What is the current energy for the sign of Leo for the week of March 29th through April 5th? What is the current energy for the sign of Leo? <clears throat> for one time just to put those cards back in it's the current energy for the sign of Leo okay Leo you could um, be experiencing s s some um, your throat chakra could be closed at this time or okay thank you the five of pentacles is your current energy but i was saying um your throat chakra could be closed at this time might need to do some meditation or some uh may need some sh uh throat chakra healing to open up your throat chakra like something and you're usually not like the quiet type you're fiery but the t um temperance is um influencing this energy could be dealing with a sagittarius but what is your past energy what's the past energy for the sign of leo what is the past energy for the sign of Leo? Okay, thank you. The Ten of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So Leo, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Sagittarius. Or with the Five of Pentacles and Earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. What's the immediate past energy for the sign of Leo? What is the immediate past energy for the sign of Leo? The Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. What are your crowning thoughts? The Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. What's your future energy? Okay. Yeah. The Five of Wands came out. And it came out with the Three of Pentacles. The three of wands. So, <clears throat> what are you fearing at this time, Leo? What's your fears? What is your fears? The fool card came out with the king of pentacles. How do others see you? How do others see you? Okay. 
care for the doctors and the first. How do others see you? How do others see you at this time? Well, how do others see you? Okay. I'm going to take these. The double card could be done with a Capricorn. Um, your hopes, the Eight of Cups, your outcome, the King of Wands, that's your energy. And then we have Justice that came out as well with the Queen of Pentacles. So, if there is a King and a Queen here, this is a relationship or a marriage and then at the bottom of the deck you have the knight of pentacles okay so leo you have the five of pentacles in your current energy so at this time you could be you could feel as if there's some temporary hardship, a setback of some sort, and you feel like you need balance or healing. You need balance or healing, some type of compromise needs to be taken. I mean, compromise needs to be made, or you feel as if you need patience regarding this this temporary setback or hardship in the past you felt the ten of swords so you felt like betrayed you felt like someone stabbed you in your back you felt some sort of disappointment and the regards to love with the knight of cups Some, you or someone could have been um, offering a cup of love. You or someone could have been offering a cup of love after this betrayal. So either you betrayed someone or someone betrayed you. But afterwards, you or someone came forward with a cup of love. And right now, you're trying to balance the situation with the two with the two of pentacles, or you're trying to you're trying to maintain balance. And this could be um, the. This could be pertaining to finances as well. So apply it how it um apply it according to your story. But so okay. Let's do a review. So with the five of pentacles, there was some type of temporary or there is some type of temporary hardship or something going on with the stability of your finances or a relationship. And you need to have patience and you want balance or something may need to be compromised in order to bring in that stability. In the past, with the Ten of Swords, you felt betrayed. You felt like someone stabbed you in your back and you felt disappointment. But someone is coming in with a cup of love with the Knight of Cups. Someone is coming in offering a cup of love or yeah a cup of love 
balance in order to balance out the situation or to maintain balance in a relationship. And again, this is either your energy or the person that you're dealing with. So in the future, with the five of wands, there may be some type of conflict and that takes place, an argument, or this could be inner conflict within yourself. Like you can be conflicted about something internally and it, you're going inward, but you're waiting for your ships to come in as well so not only are you dealing with inner conflict you're also waiting for your ships to come in your pets i mean i'm sorry what you fear is that you're not going to be able to handle or juggle everything that you want you're not going to be able to handle all of the obstacles that you have in front of you you fear this new beginning or you fear that this this new journey is not going to start or it's just you could be feeling overwhelmed because you're juggling you have a lot of things that you're juggling at this time and with the king of pentacles you you've also fear that you're not going to be successful others are seeing you as the devil Others are seeing you as being, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn, or there's a Capricorn in your midst, but others feel that you are being manipulative, you are being guarded, they fear that you are not seeing things because his eyes are covered, they feel as if you are not seeing things as they are, and you're being manipulative. What you are hoping for is the Eight of Cups. So you are hoping for oh, uh, you may want to abandon a situation, Leo. Because this, this person is looking off. And the cups that are at the bottom, he's not even looking at. So he's looking off into a new path. You may want to start out on a new path because on a new path because eights represents new beginnings so you may want a new beginning in love with maybe someone else or you may want to just set out on a new journey but your outcome is the king of wands this is your energy we have the king of wands and the justice card and the queen of pentacles came out so, with the King of Wands, you could want to set out on your own journey financially. That could be why this Eight of Cups is here. So, you could, maybe you want to be single. And maybe you don't want to be in a relationship with anyone. You want to be single. But, um, this new path... The, is going to bring balance or you could be dealing with a libra but it's going to bring balance to your life or you could have a legal matter that you're dealing with as well but I see it as this if this king of wands and the outcome, you're in your energy and you're gonna have balance coming coming in. You're gonna have balance coming in. And you're gonna have a grounded um, like whatever you're going through, it's, it's going to become stable and balanced. Like there's going to be stability in the situation. There's going to be balance. All right, so let's pull your love oracle card. Spirit, can I have some love oracle cards for the sign of Leo? 
that came out, engagement ring. And it reads, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So whatever took place or whatever is taking place um, is going to result in, or you could be married. This could be a marriage. That could be going to another, um, let's pull another love oracle card, but it could be going to another level of commitment. Something that's going towards another level of commitment. Okay, two cards came out. Kisses, um, unconditional loving, giving, receiving affection, falling in love. So you could be falling in love all over again. And then soulmates came out. Soulmate connection, partnership, agreement, a soul contract. So you have a soul contract with someone. So it looks like everything there's going to be some um, trials and tribulations, but you're, in the end, it, everything is going to work out for you. So, Leo, that is your reading for the week of March 29th through April 5th. I hope this reading resonates with your situation. If so, share, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for future videos. I'm sending lots of love, light, peace and healing energy into the world at this time i thank you for watching and i will see you next time enjoy your week bye